It's another blow for victims of Hurricane Katrina. They're being urged to move out of their government-issued trailers after tests found toxic levels of formaldehyde fumes. More than 500 trailers in Louisiana and Mississippi had an average of five times the fumes found in most modern homes. Some had 40 times more fumes. FEMA provided 120,000 trailers to Gulf Coast residents after Hurricane Katrina and Rita. Health officials say residents still in the trailers should be moved out quickly to minimize further exposure. Last May, FEMA dismissed findings that showed the trailers posed health threats, despite complaints from residents. Continually had to have medications for antibiotics, cough congestions. They just have not been able to seem to clear this, and I continue to suffer with an inability to breathe. In a congressional hearing last year, FEMA's chief apologized to trailer residents. We recognize now that we have an issue. We are dealing with it in the best manner we can. Formaldehyde can cause respiratory problems and has been classified as a carcinogen by the International Agency for Research on Cancer. There are no federal safety standards for formaldehyde fumes in homes. However, the levels found in the trailers are high enough to cause burning eyes and breathing problems. Diane Kepley, The Associated Press.